What's poppin' bro, 16 TV? It's Cuz OP here, back with another reaction. This time we are reacting to Johnny Blaze saying that why her OnlyFans earnings plummeted, meaning she lost money, <coughs> she wasn't making no more finito. Um, I don't think she was finished, but we finna see what it's talking about. Screen recording starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Video playing now. The older it comes, harder and harder. Like when you're, if, if you're 18 is. and successful, like yeah, you're bringing all the homies with you. As soon as you're like 30 and successful, it's like, well, all exactly. my homies either are successful or at least have people, something to do. At least people you know? at 18, if you got some money and stuff, don't be bringing all your homies just because they was with you since day one. I'm gonna tell you why. Get on to the point that you could really get on to where it's a business that's financing that shit. Don't be Max. spending your money that you be sad because you ain't got it. I'll interview a rapper when they're like 21 and they'll be coming in with a hell of people and then I'll interview them at like 25 and they it's come different. through. Dolo, manager, yeah, security guard, that's it. Like, around. You gotta, because it just becomes a business. To them, yeah, you, know? you gotta double that up and triple that money up to where you got yourself to the point money does not matter where you could place people in position for a reason to be around you yes mm -hmm. you're my friend but also if you want to be around me let's make some money together for real. you know what i'm saying don't just have that way somebody around can if eat. i have people around me how i'm thinking the bigger i get all right let's say i got 40 million hey let's do a million let's do these restaurants together since you've been cooking since we were kids let's make money for there's a reason why you're around me so you put people in position yeah, it's like exactly. you can't just be around me just to be I'm like man we together to make money and figure out new moves we not together to beef over the small shit. We together to make money ideas. Things that don't matter really shouldn't matter. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. So if it if you getting angry over some shit that pays nobody, you wasting everybody's fucking time with being mad. Continuing on. Around me, all my friends around me, I know I can put in a position to make money. One has a boutique shop. Me, how I think the bigger I get, let's make thirty of them. Just put me as the person that funds it. Make 30 of them. Like, I, real, I, I don't, don't never want to be broke again. Real. I don't never want to have that feeling. And somebody told me that if you want to make sure you never go broke again, don't invest in any restaurants. Because they go Not broke that, so much. You get what I'm saying, right? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, somebody, yeah, example, a few people have told example, me that. Yeah. It's an example. But you get totally, what I'm saying. Yeah, um, it's up and down. depends on what people want to eat. Zoos or something. or <laughs> Zoos. Something. I don't know. That's, that, no, that's a good one. Let's, let's open a I'm zoo. Telling, she listen, just, here, here, okay, so hear me out. Most of them are privately let me, owned. Let me make owned something. City, right? So when people get a deal. Like all of them. like a deal. I ain't going to lie. Owning a zoo would be cool. There was that movie a long time ago where bro bought a zoo. And I think it was based on a true story. But I feel like that would be difficult, too, because then you got to hire people willing to go feed all types of big-ass crazy shit. And that's really up to, I don't know. I wouldn't do that shit, to be honest. It just depends on what I got to feed. Maybe if I raised it from the little from the little stage to the big stage, but if you go, hey, we got this brand-new full-grown lion we need you to feed, yeah, fuck all that. Distribution deal or something for 100 k How I would do is I watched a girl have buy 200 hookahs. She went to a strip... <laughs> Hear this out, bro. That's what she's been in the club one night. You know, she she brought them like they they're hers. Okay. I swear to God, watch this. Yeah. She brought two hundred of her own hookahs. She put them in the strip club. She makes about five to eleven thousand dollars a week. She ran them out basically. So oh, that's find genius. Things that oh, that's to do, tough. Like the vending machines, for example, find it in studios or I go to studios all the time. So you just put these in there. You're generating money. That makes to about I think seven hundred to eleven hundred dollars if you put the right things like. Who wants backwoods in there and stuff like that? So a lot of these rappers don't oh, want to go to the store for safety measures. So you have all that in the vending machine that's yours. You have 12 of them around Atlanta. You're making tea. crazy bread. I'm thinking of some other shit. So again, like the people that I have around if me, you hear, I'll be like, damn, I want to do these vending machines. Mm -hmm. We'll do this together. You're the one that drives around and, and puts these shits back in there. What about Pac-Man machines? Everything. What Everything. the fuck is what a Pac-Man Pac machine? Like so people could play Pac-Man at the laundromat or something. Anything, that's a stupid. laundromat. My, my you thing put money is, into laundromat. But why would the arcade... Or like, why would any place want to take your? How would you want to do an arcade? Buy the vending machine to do it themselves. Why would they right? have? They should have been that's already true. at it. Yeah, if you see, if, if you see, a lot of people don't. No, the, the, that's definitely a business that people Man. have. Is the, yeah. You know, Airbnbs. Mm. Here, sure. hear me out. Airbnbs used to be some shit that everybody used to like buy a lot. You know. The tough thing about Airbnbs, and I just found this out today, you don't even have to own that motherfucker. You can lease out somebody else's Airbnb if they if they allow you to lease it out. And you just pay them or whatever. You can lease out an Airbnb. You don't even have to own it. I thought that was the coolest shit ever.
what's popping right now that LA I love y'all for mm. y'all are the reason why I got my NLE chopper video done so quickly pure space oh, yeah, a pure girl space was on lit. shade room and they posted pure they space. said if you um she said if you get like this, this no none of this is about OnlyFans right? plumbing you cut these into different venues of, of different places yeah. there's no squatting or nothing she makes about uh, 15 to 20 thousand uh, weekly because she has so many. See, like, so, so, so my girl does about, too. See, it's it's less know? and more liability in different ways. Like you said, yeah. it's better because there's not squatting, but the only problem with it is there's way more people going through it. Oh, you so, get safety, mm -hmm. security, all of that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But make sure if you're making that much money, then I you got fucking it. shit up sometimes. And then you yeah. go and you fix it. That's what business. Sometimes yeah, you get those yeah. things, but overall, the money is great and it's not illegal and safe. My girl yeah. had a motherfucker rent their pure space. They're doing porn there. The dude was oiled up, fully oiled up, head to toe. That's genius. Sat too. on the fucking couch. That's genius too. If our area had it, just renting out your space to people to do porn in, that's pretty smart too. Because there's so many people in need for a space to where it's not really they house and they can go to an area that neither of them like for for liability purposes. That shit is genius too. And then the the, the assistant has to go into high gear to fix the oil Clean stain on the couch. That. Get a cleaning service. You got to know what it is when you got that stuff. But it hey, makes great look. Money. And then you Cleaning service. Buy the little the little vax with the uh the the wet vax for the carpet. Clean the floors, all that stuff. That's a fucking job. There was a dude here, um, I can't think of his name. If I could think, I wouldn't say it. But he bought like a van and put the car cleaning stuff in the van or whatever, and would go around and detail people's cars in person. Pretty good idea too. Tax them for these tax him these for artists. Up. These Charge artists instead of yeah, sure. these artists. This is how it boils into music. These artists, like if you fucking have that on the side while you got your your advance from these companies that's paying for your music, you'll have money that's keep funding for your shit while you're already you know spending the money that they signed you for. Because I saw you t take a unique stance on uh, social media where you basically said, hey. Buy my OnlyFans, pay for my content, so that you can fund my music dreams, which I just... Man, I made $10,000. Thank you. How does that go over? And I wasn't naked. I That's weak that as fuck. Point. There's people that made, like, all types of money, and you only made ten k doing some fucking... What is that shit called? Um... What was the website they had where you could you could put your problem up or put somebody's problem up? Go fund me. You basically had them go fund me for your career. You might as well have just said you're doing it because you like to do it and you was a freak. And they probably would have paid you way more money and you would have went way fucking farther along in your rap career. Only 10000 That's fucking crazy. Motherfuckers gave you less because they didn't, like, you don't need that much to fund your rap career. My shit. Like, I be having a thong on with my baby suit, just dancing to my music. And that's why, not too. You're not naked on there? No, I quit that because I, I got, I'm getting somebody now that's really, really affordable to get all my shit deleted off the websites. Oh, for really? real? I'm not playing. He's scrubbing your existence? Man, well, I got records with Neo, Tory Lanez, freaking Macy Gray. Like, I'm sitting on just marketing-wise is already there. I put the, my team put the money in. I'm just sitting because I have to clean some shit. Like, well, I'm have really you seen the OnlyFans revenue decrease since you mm -hmm. I don't care. I've decreased by forty thousand dollars. Oh, so you? She I purposely think, made it plummet. 50. She's not doing I'm, that. I used to make. It's not happening by accident. She doesn't I'm want it to if go. I wanted up. to, and I have a like I do a lot of stuff, but now it's way less, and I'm okay. And it, who told me that if you really want music so bad, you got to slow down on some shit? And I said, well, I can't slow down on OnlyFans. That's my income, and also other things too. Like my promos, beastie, ten minute impressions a week. I make my. I'll sell you Kool Aid with pickles in it. Like I don't give a fuck. Like. Amen. <clears throat> There's a lot of people that like Gross. that, believe it or not. People do like it. They love it. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers. Oh, shit. That was a good video or whatever. Um, I thought I thought she, it was more like she wasn't doing so well on it. But I guess that makes sense because she still got the interview that she was probably trying to advance into a different type of career. Um, this was another good video. I'm going to have plenty of more out. Obviously, you see I'm running this shit up right now. So... Thank you for subscribing. Y'all been some real ones. I do appreciate y'all. Continue to subscribe. Continue to fuck with me. Holler at me. Bye.